Uh, I think my job at the moment is to be part of turning us into a really high quality opposition. Obviously I've got all too much experience in that particular uh, part of parliamentary process. So my commitment is to do that and then I'll make assessments as I go through the term. Um, but right now I think I've got a job to do to, to get us ship shape. Do you have any regrets stepping down in Wellington Central now that the seat's flipped over to the Greens? No I don't. I mean I was very clear that um, I felt that I had done what I could in Wellington Central where I had the focus in the finance area. Um, obviously I'm, I'm gutted for Ibrahim. I think he's an outstanding person and an outstanding MP. Uh, so we'll reflect a bit on that, but no, those decisions are... What do you think your time frame is in terms of embedding the opposition? Are we talking about months? Or? Oh, I think it'll be months, for sure. I mean, we've got to you know, do a very important job today and thank and farewell some people. Uh, then we've you know, got to see what the final election result actually is uh, and then sit down and work our way through how to be a good opposition. So, you know, it's, it's a month. Is it time for Labour to change its leader? doing service after service service after service for the Labour Party. Do you feel that deep in your heart? I owe everything to the Labour Party. I mean, if Grant Robertson had put his name on the ballot paper in 2008, um, I wouldn't have been elected on that basis. Um, I strongly believe in what we stand for. I think what we stand for in terms of looking after people and the environment and, and the future is more important now than ever. And so I, I know I'm, I'm committed to this Labour Party. Is it time to... Person to lead Labour out of this loss. I'm incredibly supportive of Chris. I think he has done a really good job. And one thing, one reflection I've had over the last few days is it's a relatively recent phenomenon in New Zealand politics to believe that if someone loses an election, they need to go as the leader. I mean, um, my prediction is we'll end up around 28 percentish after the special votes are counted. That's the same percentage that Helen Clark got in 1996 and she won the 1999 election. So, you know, I think Chippy's a, a good person. He certainly has my support. Do you have any... Do you have any... Do you have any... Is that also because there's no one else waiting in the wind? Well, no, I'm just answering the question, and I think Chris is a person I support, and he certainly has my support. Do you have any, do you have any leadership ambitions at all? Like, it might not be now... Jason, we've really been round the block on this many, many times. No. Just, just on your personal situation, just on your personal situation, are you closing the door on running again in 2026? Uh, as a I'm going to take each it, this in stages um, over the next little while. So my commitment is to be here to get us into ship shape for opposition, and then I'll keep assessing things from there. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.